I came from Roosevelt Junior High School, which was a predominantly black school at that time, African-American. And it was opportunity offered to me and several others to go out to Bishop Ludden. You know, we had athletics covered from Pee Wee football at Kirk Park, where we'd have years we were undefeated, untied and unscored upon. Went to Roosevelt Junior High. Roosevelt, we were winning the whole time. I didn't go out to Bishop Ludden for athletics. I went out to Bishop Ludden for academics because I was told by people in my community, there's some opportunity out there for folks uh, who could have a different educational experience. Bishop Ludden is a small, tight community, but they do fabulous work. And as you see, they compete with all the big schools. I believe it was sophomore year. We were at the bottom of the league in the uh, city conference and we were playing the county conference, which was West Hill, obviously the school right down the street. They were at the head of their conference and we beat them in a, non, in a non-league game. And that made our whole year. <laughs> it's been said, if your head and your heart are in the right place, your feet will take care of themselves, your actions. And when I got to Bishop Ludden, I was amazed about the caring and the concern that the faculty and the staff, the teachers, and even the custodial people had concern for the students. It was almost like family. That I can't begin to speak about all the fabulous things about the nuns and the priests. I'm just crazy about them. Because what they taught me was, I'm showing you how to get true education. John Allen, he was there my sophomore year. He encouraged me to go out for wrestling. He talked about how he saw something in me that I didn't quite see in myself yet. He said, Rance, I think you could do this. I was always, I've always been strong. Strength has been one of my things. I got some weightlifting bench press championships and things like that. But he thought that, yeah, Rance, you, you, you can do this and you can be fairly good at it. You just got to work at it. And that was one of the things he taught us. You got to have a good, strong work ethic. Things may not always work out the way you want them, but if you put your best effort forward, you'll always be successful. I forget the name of the philosopher who said this. He said that one must keep a constant vigil over one's perception of self, least one be overwhelmed by negativity. Young people, particularly today, get hit with all this media. It's not what's good, it's what you're not. Instead of trying to be perfect, just be the best you you can be on that particular day, that particular moment, that particular contest. And when you don't do things well, think about what you could do differently. Don't beat up on yourself, but think about how you're going to move forward. And again, I had people come follow me there to London and everybody I've talked to who've been to London had a fabulous experience. It wasn't easy. It had its challenges, but there's been no regrets.